The downtown Spokane Plaza and the adjacent dog park are new to the area, but the problems police have seen lately aren't new. I walked through it yesterday and there's human feces and needles and trash piled up already. Spokane police say issues like these stem from people living on the street. Drug usage, there are assaults, there are thefts, there are robberies, there's vandalism, and those crimes are sometimes associated with this population. And so we need to, it's, we're obligated to, it's our job to stay on top of that. And it's been difficult, especially for neighborhood resource officers who mainly deal with ongoing non-emergency issues. In one case, I know one of the NROs told me 80% of his time was dedicated to these transient camps. And so he wasn't able to get any of his other work done and meet the needs of the other the community members. And so the department is trying something different. Two full-time police officers are working with the Code Enforcement Unit and Spokane Parks and Recreation to focus on homeless encampments. For a month this summer, two officers will join the team from another unit. City officers will basically handle the law enforcement end and any kind of protection that needs to be done with those groups as they go out to clean these camps up. After that month, the department will look at their progress to see if the new approach helps solve the old problem. If we do a good job and we begin to solve those problems and we can tailor that back, we will. If not, we'll have to see what happens and go from there. In Spokane, Alexa Block, Crime 2 News.